Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, I got a short video for you guys, but it is something that I do want to talk about and kind of bring awareness to because I don't know how people really have, you know, put this under the carpet and uh, sweep it under the carpet. Sorry, that is the expression. Um, but I want to talk about it today and it kind of concerns me and there's a few things that I really do want to talk about because this could be game changing for the Resident Evil 4 remake. And I don't know what you guys think of it, but I do want to talk about it in today's video. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and put notifications on so you guys don't miss a video. So continuing on, what I'm talking about is Claire Redfield. Uh, Claire in Resident Evil 4 is not mentioned, she is not heard of, or she does not have a cameo. Of course, Claire is in the Resident Evil franchise and Resident Evil 4 is canon to the entire series. Resident Evil 4 has been milked to the freaking bone, dude. I mean, every re it's always referenced in every Resident Evil game that he is mentioned in. And wow, it's it's just insane. <laughs> but never do you hear Claire mentioned in Resident Evil 2. Or right, not Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 4, I apologize. Uh, she's never mentioned in that game, but Here's where the leaks are coming in, and I have two things to say about it, right? The first thing is, we do not need Claire to be in Resident Evil 4, and hold your paws, hold your paws right there, because I know what you guys are going to think. For me personally, I want them to stay as faithful to the, the original than they can, because I don't want to see Resident Evil 4 add characters that we've never seen before or heard of, obviously. We have seen Claire in other games. Uh, she's obviously Chris Redfield's sister. But the issue is, that's kind of just not staying faithful to the original if you think about it, you know? And that's just one issue that I've had. Um, and ever since I've heard the leaks, I just kind of like nod my head. I'm like, wait, why are they adding this, you know? Um, but necessarily, what I'm mostly talking about has to do with the fact that they're being added just to tie in other games and the TV show from what the leaks have said. Uh, apparently it's supposed to tie into Resident Evil 8 and it's also supposed to tie into Resident Evil Infinite Darkness, that new Netflix show that just came out. And Resident Evil 4 Remake is supposed to be launching in 2023 and I'm pretty sure the show's gonna be continuously updated uh, with more content on the Netflix show. That sounds weird for a video game and a Netflix show, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be you know, obviously posted with more uh, show episodes. I'm sorry, I was about to say shows, but more episodes. Um, and you know, that isn't the issue. The issue at hand is the fact that it's never been canon. I mean, it's not canon that Claire's going to be in Resident Evil 4, and that's just an issue for me. You know, I mean, it's it's not going to kill me. You know, like if they want to add her, they can add her, man. And that's one of the reasons why one of the development studios that was leading this. Uh, was leading the project which was M7 they were dumbed down to a small little percentage what they can do on the game because main Capcom took over and decided hey you were gonna work on these games and add a bunch of changes that we feel neat uh, feel you know fit for the game and that's just the unfortunate fact um, unfortunately this is something that I don't agree with you know M7 are the people who brought us Resident Evil 3 Remake, and that is that game was not as what I expected from the levels of Resident Evil 2. Um, but you know, it still sucks, man. It was their project, you know, and I, I wish they could have, you know, seen justice for it. Obviously, it's not a legal case, but it, it's kind of messed up though if you think about it. That one of the main development studios there has been developing the game for about three years now you and then main capcom takes over and randomly wants to add some changes that don't need fit for the game and that's just my issue but it's not something that i can infer you know it's a game that they're remaking from a classic game that is probably one of the best fps shooters probably one of the most defining games to gaming in general it's been ported to every single platform you can think of, but yeah, man, that's it's it's insane. But um, the second thing is, I think they want to make her a mercenaries character or a side character or a skin or some sort of case for that because that's what I'll be okay with. But I don't want to see her play a part in 
the main story because she has nothing to do with that. Um, I think fans will be upset if that is the case too, though. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's it's a little bit concerning, you know, for, for my opinion, you know. It's a little bit concerning, and I don't want to jump into too much speculation, but yeah. She could be a side character in, in the missionaries, and obviously that could be some cool additional content. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.